good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good day. Uh, hi, welcome to my page, Cherish Me A Go. If you don't know, Cherish Me A Go is a movement to encourage the diasporans across the globe to return to their home of the Caribbean and or Africa. So, my name is Makissa also known as Queen, and now I am here in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. I have been here now since May of 2022, when I left South Africa and lived in Kingston for a short period of time and then decided, you know what, I really don't like the heat of Kingston. I really do not like not seeing um, lush greenery, um, just being immersed in nature is what, what I really love. So being in St. Elizabeth, it really reminds me of, well, the town that I'm in, it really reminds me of a town that I visited when I was in Tanzania, and that was Moshi which is also home to Mount Kilimanjaro out in Tanzania. And I'm gonna to touch some on why I left Africa, but not in this video. This video is all about Jamaica. So I'm here now, I love it. Um, unfortunately, my son did leave me and he's now back in the States um, healing. <laughs> which he needs to do as well as myself because I discovered today that you know I still haven't finished healing from one the trauma of America and then two the trauma of losing my dad um, during the space of time where you know police were being called out to my house in America because um, I set a fire, which is a bonfire, not a fire to the home, but a bonfire to celebrate life because that was the celebration of that night while my father was there with me and I was taking care of him in my home at that time. And um, I'm still recovering from the trauma of having to deal with, you know, losing my dad, going to court over different issues with a racist neighbor out in Garner, North Carolina. And if you're unfamiliar, you can check out uh, riotrevolt.org. It's a vlog that um, I manage. Um, I haven't written anything much recently and throughout maybe the last two years. However, it does archive what has happened as far as my experiences. Um, dealing with uh, America and white Americans and the hatred that they um, and disdain that they have for people with black skin who exercise their rights to live in peace. So because I had no peace, I said I'm going to find my own peace and I traveled around Africa trying to settle there and I decided not to do that for various reasons. I still love Africa. However, Africa needs to also love us, their lost children, right? Who do decide to return home. So, um, yeah. So, I'm now a citizen of this lovely, beautiful, lush, green, mountainous, uh, water-locked land. It is home to my parents. They come from the parish of, um, they come from Kingston, um, Kingston, Jamaica. And if you're Jamaican, you know that anything outside of Kingston is country. I was born in Brooklyn, but I'm not a city girl at heart any longer. I love farming. I love seeing nature. Um, I can't wait until hopefully you can donate and then you know i can develop a farm land here and a home for you guys to visit from around the globe if you like and set up here in in, in jamaica if you like um you can contact me for consultations i'm open to that um 
doing uh, business here in Jamaica is a little precarious. Is that the right way to say it? I don't care. Anyway, it's odd doing business here in Jamaica, especially as a woman. Um, yeah, so sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. However, you will always learn. But I don't want you to learn the hard way. So if you're considering coming to Jamaica, living in Jamaica, making Jamaica your home, and you want to learn how do you become a citizen of Jamaica. Um, personally, I became a citizen because of my descent, descent from my parents, and I used my parents' paperwork because they were born here. So that's one way to become a citizen. Um, since then, I have obtained my um, passport. I've also, my Jamaican passport that is. And when I did that, I didn't have to give up my US citizenship, although it serves me no good because as you know, um, if you follow the different various stories concerning my life and times, America does not regard me as their citizen, even though I was born on that soil. And I too don't even consider that home um, either. Uh, right now, I'm a citizen of Jamaica, but technically I have no home. I still don't have anywhere that I call, well, I do have a place I call home, but it's a temporary home. I'm looking to build here in Jamaica, like I said, and if you're interested in helping that cause then you can check out the about page or down below um, if you're interested in helping me to do that and secure a place um, and farm um, my plans are to have a farm where people can come in and do um, research as well as learn how to do the basics of farming um, the good thing about St. Elizabeth, it's home to scallion crops. Um, what else is here? Definitely banana, uh, gungu peas. Um, what else is here? Corn. There's, there's lots of cash crops that are here in St. Elizabeth if you're interested in um, building and developing in this town and um jamaica may be an island however there's always lots to do lots to see each parish has its own personality and its own um strengths and weaknesses but however however the food and the sights that you see are always amazing um of course i even before i got here i've been hearing how dangerous um, Jamaica is um, I visited many times before I decided to live here and yes Jamaica is just as dangerous as anywhere else in the world um, and it's dangerous because people still think that politicians that come in to trick and deceive and lie and steal from the people instead of liberating the people they're everywhere even in a, a, a mostly black nation because in the mostly black nation there's still a lot of uh, ingrained um, hatred for oneself due to colonialism and traveling across Africa has shown me that immensely um, being back in Jamaica has shown me that immensely however I still chose and still choose to stay here in Jamaica You know at some point it has to end and people have to realize you know what I can't believe what other people tell me about myself I have to know about myself for myself and yes I do love my skin I love the color of my skin I'm not gonna bleach my skin there's so much bleaching going on out here but at the same time I do not blame the people directly that are bleaching I still blame the people that have instilled in little children boys or girls that you know you're only right if you're bright or um you know things like that 
um, that I don't agree with because um, melanin is where it's at. You know, you hate it for a reason because they ain't got no melanin and melanin is where the power is. So it's time to tap into that um, power that you have innately, right? And, you know, if you choose to stay in degradation, that's on you. But I choose self-determination. Whether it's going to be an easy road or a hard road, it's my road, my choice. But you're not going to come in and disrupt my life any longer at any whim when I go shopping or when I go to the dentist or, you know, just daily activities of listening to music or having a bonfire celebration in my backyard or even studying to listen to Malcolm X. Um, so, thank you for watching this brief little video. Um, hopefully, you'll join me for more um, information here from Jamaica, um, from St. Elizabeth. Um, I've been doing a lot of self-reflection. I've been doing a lot of just exploring. And I think it's time. I think I want to take you guys along with me. I've been up and down Black River. I've been up and down Santa Cruz. Um, shout out um, all the people I've met so far. Um, I've been to many parties. Um, let me see. Listen to lots of good music. Eating lots of good food. Um, that's another thing I would love to get into. Um, I'm very much considering opening a restaurant. So I'm putting that out in the universe so that I can find the right location and do that. Um, so one day at a time and still cherish yourself enough to leave somewhere that doesn't cherish you back right you determine your future and don't let them determine your future for you so with that being said i'm akissa thanks for stopping by you can go ahead and subscribe um you can leave a comment below where are you if you are in jamaica and if you're thinking of coming to Jamaica, where are you going to stay when you come here? Okay, so, bye guys.